So we have a lot of business owners out there who are learning from the village story. They're building their business and they use village as almost a textbook. It's like, it's like a, you know, a mini university program and they're like, <laughs> hey, if they can do this, I can learn from them. So now here's a chance to speak to those entrepreneurs. How about three tips for those business owners as they take over a business? Because now you've taken over 10 years in. What three tips do you have for them? Start with meaning. Uh, be really in touch with, uh, you know, the Simon Sinek why. That is almost cliche now, but it is so true. There are a thousand businesses and money-making ventures you can follow, but to get up every day and invest what it takes to grow a business, to start a business, it has to be connected to something more than just business. It makes all the uh, trials that you go through worthwhile. I had, in my career, I had a great education growing up. So it was a wide and varied background. My resume is really eclectic from corporate CPG to entrepreneurship to in the entertainment business, publishing, finance. I think that generalist background is a great, great tool when you are an entrepreneur. If you're too focused on one side or specialty, and we all have our proficiencies, I think what happens is you have to backfill those skill sets with, with other people. And so if you can bring a really nice general approach, I think you're, you have an advantage. And then the last one for me, it's this balance between control and allowing a future to unravel in front of you. And that for me has been in, in my career as someone who is definitely a more on the control side of things, a planner. Yeah. I think that I've come to appreciate that over time. There are things you're not going to know. There's plans you're going to make that maybe start out working well and then things will change. Maybe they'll never get off the ground. You have to leave space and oxygen for opportunity to present itself and you have to be nimble enough and it takes fortitude and confidence to step out and do and chase your dream. But you have to also be humble enough to be able to say, oh, I'm wrong. I'm going to pivot. So it's that balance between control and opportunity. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the full interview to get even more business tips and insights. Remember to subscribe and follow me on social media at Faisal Carmel.